Alright everybody, it's time for another mail video. So this one whoops, is from see on the box. I don't think it even says on the box here. Nope, but it shipped out of Colorado. So I got the tracking number almost immediately when I made the order here, but this is from Tata Electronics. Uh, placed the order almost immediately, got a tracking number provided for my order number, and then I'd say probably, oh, two days or so, two business days, two to three business days later they shipped it, so it took about five to six days to get here, after it's all said and done. I, there's, I thought there's a pull tab on these things, but... I'm not seeing it, so I guess in the bigger boxes they don't have the pull tab. So I'll just cut this end out. You know, it's sealed in this end, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull this up. There we go. So it's just a medium flat rate box here. And inside the flat rate box is the bubble wrap. So these guys sell fairly inexpensive electronic components. So you got the bubble wrap there on the end, and then the big sack of stuff. Look at all the stuff. This is like this is like the dollar store of electronics, man. You can get all sorts of fun stuff. And a lot of this stuff I'm going to use for like um, little projects that I'll be working on outside of elect, uh, outside of the arcade repair stuff. Maybe some uh, just some little homebrew stuff that I may get going. Let's see what all I have in here. So I got two separate bags. What's cool about Tata is like um, they'll do these 15% off deals on their Facebook page. So that's when I took advantage of this order. So I actually need some connectors and a few other things, but I went ahead and uh, stocked up on what I thought I could need going in the future here. And they had pretty good reviews as well. Um, they're different products they had. People use them for creating a lot of musical instruments and stomp boxes and stuff like that for guitars. So I just got a little bit of a few different things here. Some little DC power plugs so I can do some stuff with power. Here's some different kind of pots. So here's a big, a big pot. <laughs> Not sure the value on this one, but. It's kind of neat, they put everything into little baggies, so everything's nice and organized and separated. Some little .1 headers here, little wafer headers. I got all, all sorts of different uh, value of resistors, metal film resistors. And they're little thin-legged resistors, but uh, they'll be good to use in, in little projects and different things. I got an assortment of pots, uh, different uh, resistance values of pots. These are like six mil uh, spaced pots on the legs, so I can use these for a lot of different things. I got a bunch of different values, so I've got 3K, 2K, this is 470, here's 1K, uh, 4.7K. Just all sorts of kind of different values. Got some little perf board here. So small little perf boards to move my uh, breadboard projects to. Some more headers, little 40 pin headers here. These are like breakaway headers so you can break them to whatever size you need. Got some little toggle switches. Little micro switches here. So they have the little leaf spring on them here. And I got a bunch of different sized uh, wafer connectors. So these are uh, one point or point one five six, I believe, space headers. So these are great for like the Williams games and stuff. And they are pretty much, from what I can tell, uh, would be a direct replacement based on the type and design of these headers, the retention on them, retention clip anyway. And then here's these uh, housings that would go into the headers. Okay. 
cool. So I've got different, all sorts of different sizes of these guys. So I'll probably put these in like my little Plano boxes and get them all organized. So, a bunch of, so you can see there's a bunch of them in here, a bunch of little connectors in there. I even picked up some, so they had some logic chips on there, so I picked up some 74 LS chips. They had different kinds. I wanted to see what they would ship. Uh, I even got uh, dip sockets. So there's some 14 bin dip sockets. I wanted to compare these sockets to the really nice sockets I got from Mauser. See what the, the differences in quality. This is really cool. I mean, they, they put foam in here. They uh, attach it. I mean, the shipping here is just is great. I mean, everything's separated and easy to get to. Here's some little DC power pins for uh, putting on the board. That'll work with these little power plugs so I can get power to my projects. But, I mean, cheap things like uh, battery holders. So here's some three AA battery holders. I got four of them in here. So those would be great for board repair. Um, here's some more pots. So I got lots and lots of pots. Here's some more um, 74 LS chips. So here's like two different bags of 74 LS, 74 LS 138Ps and LS 04s. So different logic gates. And I think some of these were supposed to be. I remember them on the on the website. They I thought they said. Um, more sockets. Some of them were name brands. Uh, some different size sockets uh, for like CPUs and uh, EPROMs and PROMs and stuff like that. Some little uh, cell battery holders, coin battery holders. So if you want to put a lithium battery on a power board, I can do that now. I mean, these the stuff is just it was just so cheap. Figured I'd stock up. So here's all the different connectors. More wafer connectors of different pin sizes, all sorts of different sizes. So this, this, all this stuff should last me for quite a while. I should be able to do a bunch of fun stuff with it. Here's some little uh, nine volt battery clips. Look pretty decent. And here I got another breadboard. Oh, this is kind of neat. Oh, okay, this is a little uh, project kit um, that I ordered. It's a voltage, uh, DC voltage adjuster, I, I believe is what this is. Yeah, this is one of the kits. So I'm going to take everything that's in here and make a little uh, DC voltage adjuster with it. It's going to be one of my first projects I do. I just wanted to see what their little project kits look like because they didn't have a really good picture of it on their website. So you weren't, you could see the listing of all the different types of project kits they had, but they didn't have any pictures of them. So this is what you get. I don't know if there's any instructions. I think they may have a PDF online for the schematics and everything. So this thing comes with a heat sink, pots, knobs, wires, has a little cap in here. So that's kind of cool, right? I think that's neat. That'll be fun to do. So I'll make a little video putting this kit together and uh, seeing how it works. So that'll be fun. What else we got? More sockets. I mean, look at all of it. Look at all these sockets I got. I mean, just gobs of awesome stuff here, people. Uh, more housing, so I've got to replace. I'm pretty sure I need to replace a header on one of my joust cams. So I'm going to try one of these out and see if it does what I need to do. I've got a bunch of little dip switches of different sizes. Some more sockets. Sockets, dips. So here's all the different sizes. i got some of the different size sockets. So this is pretty exciting. So I've got a bunch of stuff to play with. It's like a bag of Legos, you know, electronic Legos. <laughs> what can I build now? <clears throat> so lots of different sizes of common resistor values. So what I'll do with these, I'll just stack them all together and order them, get them in the right order, put them like in a little box, and they'll be there when I need them. What else we got here? Some more dips. I have no idea what I'll do with these, but I got them. There's a little neat little LED. A 
or not LED, but this is an LCD display. So, more little metal films. These actually look pretty good. I mean, the color, the color bands on them, and everything are really easy to read, really easy to see. So, I think these will be nice to use. So as you can see, I got a bunch of these little, these little packs of resistors. So I'll be able to replace. Mostly got uh, quarter, quarter watt resistors. That's mostly what they have. They have quarter watt and they have a few half watt resistor values. They don't have, a, they don't have a lot of uh, much more than that. Uh, most, most of their stuff's all quarter watt. So I mean, you can, you can stock up on those and, and they'll, they'll do you well for a while. So that'll be all right. Um, so yeah, just, I mean, I got a bunch of these different size connectors, so, some more pots here, here's some more of the little connectors, this is the, uh, some more housing connectors, it's a 310, so I think I'll put all my connectors in one bag. All these little connectors I'm going to put together. Let's go ahead and dig into the other bag. Look at all this stuff. This is crazy. So some more dip switches. Little ones. And they didn't have any the, the regular rocker dip switches in the uh, eight position, so I got these little piano ones, which should they should work, I believe. I think they're still the I think the pins are still the same. Uh, they're still dual inline pins, so I mean they're it's just the way you toggle them is a little different. Maybe easier to toggle actually these little pan pianos. They just don't look the same, but I mean they look like they work pretty good, so it should be fun. So here's the little crimp on connectors for uh, 3.96 millimeter. They come in a, a real little spool of them here. So I'll have to break them off to use them. Uh, more resistors. More quarter watt resistors. Quarter watt resistors. Yes. More connectors. Connectors. Connectors, so much stuff there. There's a little zip socket. I may try to do something with uh, my EEPROM reader. I may try to make an adapter for it later on in the future. So I think that's what I'll use this for. Uh, more pots. Pots, 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 more pots, lots of pots. 5k pots, 20k pots, 10k pots. Uh, here's some, so they just recently added wiring to their site, so I wanted to see what kind of quality their wire was. So I got 50 feet of just some blue wire because I didn't have any blue wire, so just added to my the colors that I have. It feels pretty good. Um, I think this is 22 gauge, that's what I got. And I don't I'm not see any. There's some markings on here. But it looks pretty good. I could uh, strip a little bit, I guess. And let's put it on 22 here and see if it strips pretty good. Yeah, strips fine. So here's the wire. Yeah, not too bad. That'll work for most applications. So yeah, there's your 22 gauge wire. 50 foot of that came in a little bag, so it looks like they just kind of take it off the spool and bag it. So you don't get it on a reel, which is not nice because then you can't put it like on a like on a bar and then just 
pull the wire off as you need it, so just send it back. So I guess that's the only downside. It was fairly inexpensive though. Um, okay, so just some more. So here we go, yeah, some, some of these more uh, logic chips, and these are actual, they look like Texas instruments. So yeah, there you go. TI logic chips, 74LS logic chips. So I just picked up a few of those. Here's some more pins on a little wheel here. These are the 2.54 millimeter. More 74 LS chips. So I got some a small selection of chips here. And then the rest of this looks like mostly uh, resistors, pots, and connectors, from what I can tell. So yeah, this will be a lot of useful stuff going forward, so I'll be able to reach into my supplies here, and when I need to make a small repair, hopefully I'll have the parts that I need to do it. Especially if it's a you know, simple thing like a little connector or something I need, I need to make. Uh, so hopefully the quality on this stuff is good. It looks looks fine. I need to pull these connectors out. Everything feels sturdy. Plastics good. There's no play in the pins. So, looks good to me. Um, yeah. So here's a JAS board that needs some work, and here's one of the wafer pins that I got. Kind of compare it to what's already on the board there. So, it's not discolored like the other one is. Looks pretty good from from what I can see here. So yeah, I think that'll work nicely. See where the pins will come through on the board, where the connector will sit. Kind of how it'll look. I think the pins might be just a little bit shorter than what's on there, but not by too much. I think it'll be fine. So yeah, I think these will work because I got uh, one of the fire headers and one of the jazz boards I have. I'm definitely going to replace. Uh, if I need to replace any more of them, then I'll have the different sized headers to do that. And I think they'll work just fine. Plus, I'll be able to change up the IDC connectors that are on the actual wiring harness with crimp connectors, and that should help quite a bit. I think uh, that will certainly be an upgrade. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for now. That's this this order. I'd like to get to using some of this stuff, um, so I'll let you know when I use some of this stuff in my future videos and let you know what the quality is like if it's worth worth picking up from what I can tell, I, you know, just from the price point if it lasts half as long as the good stuff that's out there it's it's definitely picking it's definitely worth picking up because it's just it's so much cheaper than anywhere else and if, if you look at the website I mean, I mean they, they, they only carry very uh, a, limit, a limited number of items and um, the, the things that they do carry they just have just gobs of it uh, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of units they have available in their warehouse to ship from so I think that's kinda how they they get the price down on this stuff because they just they order so much of it it's ridiculous so they got what you need um, I don't think I would say not to try them. I think it's definitely worth a try because you don't have to spend a lot to get what you need. And if it doesn't work, then you're not out that much. If it does work, then I mean you're you're ahead of the game by quite a bit. So, um, 
sit on the fence, I'm just, uh, I'll come back and show you what how it works for me uh, based on the projects that I have in front of me, uh, the repairs I have to make, and, and even these little things like these little kits and stuff. So we'll put stuff like this together and, and see how it turns out. So if it turns out okay, then great. I think it'll be fun. Um, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun to have all these little things to, to play with and uh, put things together and, and uh, you know, learn a lot in the world of electronics. So, anyways, that's Tato Electronics. Uh, definitely like, uh, I like the way that they package all this stuff. This is great. It's all in little baggies and so I can just kind of group the things together and then put them away in little, uh, little bins or even cardboard boxes or uh, whatever I want like these I'm probably going to put like in a little just a, a properly sized cardboard box and just have them where I can flip through them and find the things that I want and pull them out as needed so it makes it really easy to, to store everything away neatly so awesome so just to show you what you could do real quickly with this in order from Tata here's a little box a little cardboard box that I just kind of cut out the actually from uh, this box came from Technotool, which is, they ship really well as far as packaging and everything. But anyways, here's everything that I got from the Tato order, and, or most of everything. I put all the connectors. The connectors are still, I just put in the bag of the round, so I'll just kind of sort through there if I want to need, but all the other small components here I just put in a box, and you can see, you can see the values and everything that's marked, and everything's kind of organized in the box. So you can see you know, a big bag of order you can organize fairly easily in you know, a little cardboard box. So if you have different sized cardboard boxes, you can you know, put all your resistors in there, no problem. Um, they're staying in place. Um, you can just slide it in a shelf or a drawer somewhere, and um, you can keep all your little parts organized. So it's it's I, I just it's just fantastic that they they put everything in, in these really nice bags and put a label on it. And I mean, they've done a lot of a lot of work ahead for you so you don't have to spend the time um, keeping trying to you know organize everything printing out labels and buying little uh, little bags and everything so this is great love it perfect